He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim. Pure Redguard. Let's just get away from the NPC so I can do the intro. Um, Pure Redguard. Yeah, we're playing with only the Redguard's three specific skills, which are destruction, alteration, smithing, block, one-handed, and archery. And that's it. Those are the only skills we're allowed to use and or level up. And um, did a few things off camera. I did some punch shopping here at Radiant Raiment here in Solitude. Um, actually, first of all, if you really want to follow the walkthrough, if you're following the walkthrough, like, very carefully, um, the very first thing I did off-camera was back in Whiterun, which is where we left off, I completely, completely took everything that wasn't nailed down in the Companion's headquarters in your basket. Everything. Like, you know, cups, food, whatever. Anything that wasn't marked steel, I took, sold it off. And I did the same thing with Mirror Watch. I went through Mirror Watch and I took down, took everything that wasn't nailed down and sorted it all out and sold it off. And in the process, I leveled up selling, selling stuff off. So I got another perk point. Um, block is... Okay, so we're going to throw this perk point into Archery. Then I went and did some punch shopping. <laughs> at the Radiant Raiment and finally got my Ring of Minor Archery and I also got there we go this is my Ring of Minor Archery and I also got this combo Novice Robes of Destruction and Alteration this is something that the Skyrim Anniversary Edition adds these kind of combo mage robes so I'm going to be wearing this or my girl rather is going to be wearing this henceforth business. so I'm she is no longer Naked, naked, naked! She is fully clothed. Except when I, I may, um... And I set, I set up some groups here. Oh, it should stick. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. Yep, okay, so got some groups ready. That's that. Um, okay, so everybody's caught up and up to speed. I want a horse. All we have to do is go to any stables and buy the wild horse map. Let's go to White Run. Get this before doing Bleak Falls Barrel. A little change of plans here. A little change of plans. Let's just wait till stable business hours. And then we'll go talk to oh, the Kajita here. And where is the stable boy? There he is. Gal like you needs a war horse, I reckon. No, we need a wild horse map. Of course. There you go. Ride strong. Okay, so look in your book section. Wild horse notes. Tells you where you can find all these wild horses. The one I normally go for is the spotted gray in your mark cart, but I found another one that's way easier. For everybody, regardless of what you've discovered in Skyrim, just waiting for these notifications to pass by because it's the one. Nope, there it is. This is the third one on the left page. Chestnut, east of Helgen, not far from the roadside. By far the easiest one to get. Let's go get it. Actually, I think there's a note in there. Yeah, I wanted to do this in a certain order. Oh yeah, here we go. At the very end, on the right side, it says, If I had the coin, I'd hire a wizard to use Detect Life and help me find these horses. That's a good idea. Detect Life is a spell that we can use because it is an alteration spell. Um, unfortunately, we need to get alteration up to 50 before we can buy this spell. However, it is rewarded for free if we complete the Infiltration Quest. And we can do that easily. This kicks off at Treva's Watch. So here's Rift and Stables, and if you follow this road all the way along here, and you take the, the bridge across here, and then you go, I think this is called Heart, Heart Something Mill. 
and then you follow this road up here and this bandit fort called Travis Watch is right boom there that's where we're going and you know what that's gonna take us almost all the way to Iverstead so we might as well kick off the book of love quest as well so let's go into Ripton hold there right. before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitors tax what's the tax for for the privilege of entering the city what does it matter okay look um if you don't let me in i'm going to tell everybody that your mother wears army boots okay all right keep your voice down <laughs> you want everyone to hear you i'll let you in just let me unlock the gate actually that was meant to be a compliment <laughs> Welcome to Riften, the gates home unlocked. of the Thieves' Guild. You can head inside. It's funny how that used to be like, you know... Nowadays, you say, your mother wears army boots. Yeah, skills. she does. She kicks ass. <laughs> so? <laughs> Alright. Here in Riften, this is another thing, location that's completely transformed. The Temple of Mara, this is nuts. Oh yeah, and Mara's gonna make over? Not Mara, uh, Dunya. Dunya's gonna make over because of that, um, Pandorable's NPCs. Lady there goes, there's Mara our new, there's our new Dunya. How you doing, Dunya? What is it you see? Gonna make over, eh? Which of the eight divines do you serve? We are devoted to the goddess Mara. Okay. Her blessings are many. Okay. To love, not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. Okay, so what do we have to do? Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead, the woman, Fast read. Got it. I was dead fast read. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. There we go. Started the Book of Love. That's a very important quest. Finish that off and give us 15% magic resistance, which we desperately need. Okay, and let's go, uh, just for gits and shiggles, let's go punch out. What's her name? The cruel mistress at the orphanage. I forget her name. Those who shirk their duties you. will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Grella. Yes, Grella. And Grella the thing, kind. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you. Okay, I just wanna. Wrath is getting adopted ever. There Nobody we go. Needs you. Okay, Nobody now if you go into wants. third person, you go up to someone and you press that the attack button. You get a wrestling move. Why you will always be. <laughs> it's grilling. Never get tired of that. Ouch. Okay, so you have terrorized these children enough, Grillet. Enough. Someone You've been pantsed by the slack. <laughs> and my girl Pamela. <laughs> Done and done. Okay, so we had our fun. Before heading out to Trava's watch, which is could potentially be a real brouhaha. Let's go um, activate the Shrine of Stendar. So down this way to the south behind Riften, and we're going to follow the road all the way down. This road right here followed all the way to the east. Gonna run into a pack of wolves under the bridge, just ignore them. Up there is the Blackberry Meadery. If I recall correctly. Alright, continuing down here, and you see that tree stump on the right? Just past there. 
and find this hill going up. Here we go, Stendar's Beacon. Completely random loot in here. What did we get this time? We got... Alright, not the best. At least we got a green apple. <laughs> and I'll take this raw beef and the three potatoes. And probably a lockpick and one gold in here. Oh, a potion of major minor stamina. Okay, take all that. And most importantly, the Shrine of Stendar. Okay, so look at your active effects. And we now have... This right here, the blessing of Stendar, and it looks like my uh, Sky UI reset. This is kind of annoying. It makes you reset it up every time. I'm trying to get this to stick at zero, and it won't. There we go. Okay, so blessing of Stendar is appear appearing in the top right corner. Let's go activate the thief stone. This is to help power level archery. Now, if you have the unofficial patch installed, that would be the warrior stone that power levels archery. The default um, Skyrim mistakenly assigns the thief stone to archery. And I have the default uh, Skyrim because I don't like the unofficial patch. Oh, 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 oh. What did I say? You said you didn't like the unofficial patch. I heard you, Slack. Yes. Yes. Why not, Slack? No comment. I don't want to get into a debate or in any arguments. It's personal preference. Right? Let's leave it at that. If you like the unofficial patch, all the power to you. I'm not knocking it. All the power to you. Enjoy it. Okay, so we're heading out to... Travis watch. Okay, I'm showing you the map where I am. We're just good, basically heading along here, and there's a bridge right here. Go across the bridge, discover the mill, and then we'll go up to Travis watch. That's the plan. Let's do it. Passing by Folder's Tooth on the right. Folder's Tooth. Give them the dogs, boys. And they release a pack of wolves, so. Get your hustle on and get out of there unless you want to fight them. There's the mill. Heartwood Mill. Somebody help. Someone do something. Oh jeez. You're a guard. <laughs> Some guard you are. Okay, um I think I want to take care of this guy because uh Come here. Okay, my horse ran off. This is exactly why I want to get my own horse. Snowball, where are you going? Your tour of duty is not finished yet. Got a little more to go. Then you'll be honorably discharged. Okay, so basically follow this road, and we're going to cross the bridge, looking for a guy named Stalio. I'm telling you this now, because you got to do this quick. 
because uh, sometimes when you arrive, these guys start engaging the bandits, and then it's really hard to talk to Stalio. So I'm just going to jump off, quickly to jam through his dialogue. Are you here to help? <sighs> Finally. I was expecting more. We left ice, but to invade my heart. You ask a lot of questions. I wish good luck. And that'll begin the quest infiltration. Basically, uh, I believe the story is his family was kidnapped or something, and these bandits are holding them hostage in this fort, and we have to free them. Two ways to do this. You can work your way through the fort. First of all, the first objective is to actually go in the fort. Use the back door to gain access to Travis Watch. Ostensibly, what you're supposed to do is work your way through the fort out to the front door and open the gate. But all you have to do is just come in here and once these bandits are engaged you can just leave. Since our ultimate objective is to simply raise the lever at the front door outside the fort which is your eventual destination. So we might let's just go straight there from the outside. Then there's lots of times it works great. And I want to make sure my archery getup is on. Yep. Right about here. It's a showdown. <laughs> this shootout at Trevor's watch. Gotcha. Next. This guy right here. He's got a, a two-handed warrior. He's like priority number one. And a whole bunch of guys over here. I think these guys are engaging um, Stalio and his gang. So while they're busy. If any of them get close, I'm going to hook up my shield and choking grasp. Here we go. Choking grasp, in case you guys haven't realized, um, it actually recovers health. This is a new spell that was added by Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Absorb 8 points of health per second. So basically, 24 points of health over a span of 3 seconds. This isn't a good shield, and you're you're doing okay. All right, leveling up archery here, boss. Okay, this is not good. This is worst case scenario. Two guys with two handed weapons. Oh boy. Um, I smell impending doom. Let me do a quick save here. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Okay, it's vegetable soup time. Let's get up here, see if I can get them separated. Okay, I like to get my uh, my destruction gear on. Here we go. Die, damn you. <laughs> Seems like it's an area of oh, you you're stuck, eh? <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. We got you now. Okay, so it's just what? Oh, great! Fuck. And once again, they're both two-handed. Shit. Ouch. Worst case scenario. Uh, 
And pop goes the weasel. <laughs> okay, watch it out. Okay, I feel a little nervous about this. She's gonna whack me. Oh, nice block. Oh yeah? Swing and a miss. Yeah, that hurts. Hurts, don't it? Quick posturing. Watch it, watch it now. Swing and a miss. Dude, dude. That's what you get. That's what you get. Okay, still alive, still alive. Game must have a sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> Let's get the archery gear back on. Group F2. Oh, and these guys still working on Stallio. See, the Stallio is down there. It's a shootout. That's right, come closer. You're going down. Hold still, varmint. There we go. And you're all by your lonesome, aren't you? <laughs> Time to taste the wrath of the choking grasp. Go ahead. Yeah. I don't know how that arrow got through. That's supposed to be deflecting all arrows. I deflected the first one if you saw. Where did you go? I want your stuff. Here we go. Well, I think we own this bitch. Let's go open the door. <laughs> there we go. Meet up with Stallio in the courtyard. Stallio, my man. Where are you? Hmm? Yeah? The fort is yours. Thank you for your help. Did you see my family inside? Inside? Uh, no, I did not see them in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hopefully shame. they made it to safety before. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're fine. I'll begin the search after a quick restock. Okay. Anyway, here is your reward. Thanks again. And he gives you the spell tome detect life for free. Okay, so now we can use it, even though we did get an alteration to 50. Now, it will cost a lot of magicka. But we can use it, and it also levels up alteration a lot. Definitely gonna hotkey that. This is a friendly spell, so you can actually use it around... Um, ...friendly NPCs. Just for demonstrational purposes. And I've done this in other runs you as well. Let's just go back to Riften. Detect life wanna set you at number seven. And before we do this, let's go hook up the mage stone. Yeah, you gain more XP the more bodies, warm bodies, you detect with the spell. Okay, so it looks like this, for those of you who are not aware. aware. It uses up a lot of... a lot of Magicka. Look at that, 74 Magicka per second. And it's an Adept spell, so we can't cut that in half until we get up to Adept Alteration. However, Still be useful. 
Let's look up the mate spell. Back to Riften. Okay, and if you wait till like daytime, like business hours in the market. I don't know you. You and uh, not right trouble. now, Mal. Sorry. You can pretend not to hear me all you want, but you better stay out of the black rock. Okay. In the marketplace, if you just cast Detect Life, and you can level up Alteration, like, you know, super fast. Because there's lots of people here. And... Throw on the Novice Hood. This is something I normally do just when I want to top off my Alteration leveling. Let me just top it up to 25. There you go. Really fast. So if you want to spam the tech life here, rapidly level alteration, be my guest. I normally don't do this. Usually I just do it like, you know, two or three times if I'm like looking to get alteration to like a target level. All right, so that's that. Next. The easiest horse to get. As I was saying in the beginning, is Chestnut, the third one down on the left side. Chestnut, east of Helgen, not far from the roadside. And if you use Detect Life, um, they show up as blue because they're not enemies. Enemies show up as red. These will show up as blue. Easiest way to find horses. Or wild horses. And I can't wake his enemies nearby. So I'm just going to like push up this roadway here. Let me get rid of that marker. Okay. You see his detect light. Uh huh. See? A little blue over there. There it is. There's our horse. Okay, let's wait till daytime. Okay, so we have to capture him and ride him till he's tame. Probably gonna get bucked off. This is your first time doing this. Make sure that you're not riding uphill because when he bucks you off, you're gonna fall further and you may you could potentially die if he bucks you off. Okay, let's just do a quick save. There he is. Chestnut, hang on there, Chestnut. We got you, we got you. Alright, we're gonna get a little notification here. Wild horses will buck until tame, stay mounted stay mounted until they submit. If you're thrown, try again. Once tamed, you can add a saddle. Da 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 da. Okay, finish reading? Okay. I think I bucked off right away. I have yet to find um, an entirely reliable way to avoid getting bucked off. I've been experimenting. Don't go near the bandits! Okay, I've been experimenting with dodging back and forth like this. It seems to like, you know... Here, I stayed on that time. I'm just going left and right. And this seems to work. I was trying this in a practice run today. Yeah, it does seem to work. Give that a try. Tell me if it worked for you. Just go back and forth like this, left and right. Just keep doing that until you tame him. It seems to prevent you from getting bucked off. Of course, that could be my imagination. <laughs> like I said, try it. Post a comment. Let me know if it worked for you. Okay, so we got ourselves a horse. Let's go get him named and armored. Back to Whiterun Stables. Let's park him right here. To rename him is free. To armor him is going to cost 500 gold. And do we have? Yep, we got the gold. Okay. Gal like you needs a war horse, I reckon. No, we already got one. But I like to register and rename him. Of course. Okay, now I want either lightning or dagger. 
Give it to me. Whisper. That's a new one. No, I don't like it. Okay, if you don't like the name you get, just go back and click on I'd like to register and rename my horse again. Of course. Lightning or dagger? Thunder! That's pretty good. Are you thunder? Count to three if you're thunder. One, two, three. Okay, thunder it is. <laughs> um, now... I like to armor my horse. And I think this guy is... For nice color coordination, let's go with the steel armor. Usually I go with the elven armor, but for this guy, this red horse, let's go with the steel armor. There we go. Right strong. There we go, the badass. Badass. Alright, looking good, looking good. Thunder it is. Okay, now we're ready for Bleak Falls Barrel. Guardian Stones. And... Want the Thief Stone? And let's go have a little rest at Riverwood. Get the well-rested bonus. Okay, stay there, Thunder. Attaboy. You're that visitor been poking around. Yeah, I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for Hard a day. Not to. All right. Yale is going bad. We need to get a new bed. And we're going to sleep till the next morning. Okay. Out of my hey, step away from the horse, Embry. This ain't none of your business here. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not taking any hitchhikers today. Go buy your own horse. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of Yeah, this is exactly where we want to start. Okay, now I'm sure these wolves here have respawned, so I'm just going to head up this way. Found a new way to kind of like... Take care of this wolf that's always hiding. Stay right here, Thunder. Oh, he's going to engage that wolf over there. Okay. No arrows equipped. You got this, Thunder? He killed him. <laughs> Good boy. Awesome. You the man. Alright, now. Um, I do have a, a mod called Realistic Embalanced Horses installed. Um... It's supposed to make your horses flee from combat, but ever since the anniversary edition, it stopped doing that. So now my horse is acting normally. There are times when I don't necessarily want my horse engaging in combat. So you're gonna have to learn to calm the fuck down, Thunder, okay? Seriously, you're not gonna be jumping into combat at the drop of a hat. Every time you see a butterfly flap his wings. Whatever, okay? So you stay right here, okay? No, no, stay, stay. Atta boy. 
okay there's three bandits right here I think this tree will provide good cover while we start pummeling this guy with the arrows and when he gets close we'll use choking grasp like right now and I think it's vegetable soup time glug glug Yeah. Well, that wasn't good enough for you? Good boy, Thunder. Good boy. Okay, we got a little shootout going here. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha again. Ha, <laughs> ha. Four for four. No, don't go down the hill. I want your loot. Ah, uh, she slid all the way down the hill. Okay. And let's just hustle it up here before our vegetable soup runs out. Wait, want this? I'm warning you. Back off. What? What if I don't back off? What if I get right up in your face? Do something like this. Yeah. Double power attack your ass. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts, don't it? Yeah. Dude. Down you go. And what do we get? 50 gold? Come on, game. Cheap, cheap. Okay, and there is a couple of iron ore veins here. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's right. I set my, um... Okay, I have to reset sparks to something else. Something like, uh... Two. Okay, and that should be six iron ore. Yes, sir. Very good. Ride like the wind, Thunder. Ride. Okay, I'm trying to hustle up to Bleak Falls Barrel before my vegetable soup runs out. This could be another tricky scenario with a, a two-handed warrior coming at us. Um, let's park Thunder down here. This guy right here. Let's get him. Got him. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be everybody running. Stay right back here. You should come down the stairs. Here they come. Who's first? The archer. Great. Excellent. That's right. Got him. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we got another archer. Ouch. Okay, we gotta find some cover here. And watch out for any here he here he comes. I knew it. Swing and a miss. 
shit. Watch it. Dude. Oh, right. Okay, that just leaves the archer. Where are you? There you are. Let's take cover over here. Ow! Bugger. Hold still, varmint. There you go, leveling up archery here, boss, and... Good, I can always level up to get my health back. He's a real dodgy sort. Shit, hold still, man. Come on. There we go. Down you go. Yeah, damn straight. Points into health, and definitely slam that point into overdraw two. Awesome, mission accomplished. And I do want to empty out, but we have discovered Bleak Falls barrels. We can fast travel back here. So let me just go to town. I'll take care of business off camera. We'll be right back to Bleak Falls Barrel. First thing, next video. There we go. So now, was that worth the price of admission or what? Huh? If you thought so, please give the old Slackster a big old thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. Or what did I say? Off the press. <laughs> Off the press. Yeah. All right. See you next time. Hey, guys. Real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.